Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Arts. How are you guys? Happy to be with you today. Today we're using the Bow Punch. I'm gonna put it over here. And the Layering Leaves um, stamp set. The two of them go perfectly together. These, uh, the Bow Punch is made to go with this set. And we're making my best wishes card. So I hope that you will enjoy the process. Hang out with me. It has gorgeous fonts, um, some three different kinds of bow leaves. You have this bigger leaf, two of the little floral pieces, which go with this piece here in the punch. And we're gonna have a lot of fun together. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna move my card over to the side. We're gonna start with, um, early espresso cardstock and I'm going to grab my Simply Scored. We're going to give it a nice score mark at the four and a quarter down the eight and a half. It's a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece. Scored at four and a quarter down the eight and a half inch side. We're going to burnish that. And we're going to work on the inside of our card first and then the outside, okay? So I'm gonna show you the inside. I'm gonna move this to the side over here. So the inside of our card has um, this really pretty leaf and then it has so happy to celebrate you. I'm using vanilla cardstock today. And um, this piece of vanilla for the inside is four inches by five and a quarter and it fits right inside. So let's get to stamping on that piece first. All right, so we're going to stamp in early espresso, the sentiment that says, so happy to celebrate you. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. Ink up my early espresso. We're gonna plant that centered as best we can, you know. It's a handmade card, so you can't get stressed out, right? It's supposed to be fun. There's my so happy to celebrate you. Let me clean it. And then we'll do our leaf, and I'll show you how to pair those pieces, okay? So in the set, you have this piece that has all the veining. And then this solid piece, it fills in this one and this one. So that's really fun. So we're gonna use these two stamps together here, the solid and then this veined leaf. All right, so we're gonna start, we're gonna need this early espresso in a little bit, but we're gonna start with our berry burst and it's going to be the outline, the veining part of the leaf. So we're gonna ink that up, okay. And then we're gonna stamp that in this corner, like so, maybe a little higher, I think. just like that, and we'll clean it. And then on the other side of this stamp, I like to put stamps on, um, do, you know, other, other sides. <laughs> We're gonna use Fresh Freesia, and I'm gonna ink up this leafy area here. And then you're going to line it up. So I'm gonna turn it so I can see what I'm doing. And you wanna line it up and match up the leaf. Just hover it right above until you're almost ready to push it down. And then you make sure that you are in good alignment. And that's how you color your leaf. See how simple and easy it is? This is a great stamp set. The font is beautiful and I love it. And just the whole stamp set that you guys are going to enjoy this week so much. There's going to be so many great projects with it. So let me grab my silicone mat. We'll stick this to the inside of our card. And um, yeah, I might need a, a new glue because I think I'm almost out. Yep. Let me get a new one. I have one right here next to me. I just have to grab it. All right. So we're gonna attach this to the inside of our card. So 
Sometimes I use the mat to help me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attach this down. We'll leave a little border on all four sides, a little eighth of an inch. And I'll show you in a second, just like that. All right, so the inside of our card is done. Let's move to the outside. So for the outside, we are gonna use some circles. So the smallest circle I got from reaching for the star dies. I love them because they have these circles in them. And it's the second um, circle from the outside. So the second one, second biggest, okay? And I did that in vanilla. And then I took our two and a quarter inch circle punch. It's retired, but if you need access to one, I will link it in the description of the video. So there it is. And we punched out in berry burst, the two and a quarter inch circle. All right. On to the next step. All right, so we're gonna stamp inside of here. I'm gonna close this, grab our earlier espresso. We're gonna do our best wishes sentiment. So I have to grab that one and ink that up. And that's gonna go right here in the center of our circle. Beautiful. We'll clean our stamp. We can attach that piece. So we'll grab our glue, our silicone mat, and we're done with early espresso. So I will move that out of the camera. Okay, so we're gonna glue these two together. You just want a little bit of that berry burst peeking out. It's a small amount, but see how pretty that is? All right, so I'm gonna put that off to the side with my card. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more stamping. All right, so we're gonna stamp the insides of these two leaves and then punch them out. Um, you need six, so I stamp them onto vanilla in berry burst, just like I did the inside of my card, okay? And then I filled the insides of them with fresh freesia. And that's what we're gonna do again. And then I'm gonna show you how to punch those out. So I'm just gonna ink that up. I'm gonna bring it down here where I can see what I'm doing when I hover my stamp over the top. One more to go. And there is our two pieces. Um, the scrap pieces that I use are one and three quarter inches wide. They seem to work really good when you're just punching um, the one All right, I'm gonna move all of my ink out of the way. Let's bring in our punch. So here is our bow punch and we're gonna position it in the direction of the punch. So we're gonna slide it in from this side. And I'm gonna have to hold it up so I can see what I'm doing, but I'll show it to you as soon as I have it lined up. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a little border around all the pieces, all the leaves and um, all the outlines, leaves and stem. All right, and I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see. So once you have that, then you're gonna go ahead and give it a punch. And then there's your Leaf. We'll do that one more time. This time I'm gonna hold it from this side and I'm gonna line it up again. I'm sorry that I can't show you me lining it up. I just can't see if I'm not directly over the top of it. 
All right, I'm happy with that. So there is my piece. And now I have my six floral pieces or leafy pieces. So let's close our punch. All right. So now we're gonna work on this outside. So we have this and we have all of our pieces to attach. I'm gonna move those to the corner. We're gonna do a little water coloring, okay? I'll put the card right there so you guys can still see it. I'm gonna use my silicone mat. I like to use that one a watercolor. And I am using a clear block. It already has some re-inker on it. It's daffodil. And I'm just gonna put one dot and then I have one of the water painters. They come in a three pack. Um, I'm using the middle water painter. So there's a thin point, a wider point, and this is the mid range. So I'm gonna put that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that water flowing and down onto this block. So you just have to squeeze the painter, water flows through the brush, and then it drips out through the bottom but we want plenty of water because we really want to dilute this um, drop. So I'm just kind of holding on to it and letting the water flow. All right, so now I have quite a bit of water on here. Okay, so I want it to be nice and loose. And this is a quarter, um, Actually, I need to trim this down. I just realized that I don't have it the right size. It also needs to be the same size as the inside, and I don't have it that size. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. When I originally started, I was gonna have the whole card be vanilla, and I forgot to trim this piece down. I just recalled that. Okay, so we're gonna go four inches. By five and a quarter. I actually have to turn my cutter around. I can't see five and a quarter on this side. All right, there we go. I can see it now. So five and a quarter. And so now this is the size that you want for your top piece. And I'm using a piece of thick vanilla, very vanilla. And it, the reason I'm using the thick is that it will hold up better to the water coloring. So I want this bottom section to have my yellow my daffodil because that's where all these leaves are gonna be housed. So what I can do is I can place my best wishes there so that I know approximately where I want this to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have plenty of water and I, I think I need to get a little bit more of it flowing. There we go. I really like to have plenty of water when I watercolor. I don't like it to be dry at all. So we're just going to kind of run our, our piece, okay? And figure out how far over and how far down and how far up we want it to grab our color, okay? And now I want a little bit more of some dark. So, I'm going to take first this piece and I'm gonna start splattering some paint on here or it re-inker, okay? I just want it to have some nice little splatter pieces. Then I want a little bit of darker. If you can see here, I have some darker lines. So I'm just gonna do a half of a drop. So I'm gonna squeeze till just a drip comes out and then I'm gonna tap it onto my block. You can see how much darker that is concentrated. And I'm gonna take the tip and swirl the tip around, and I'm just gonna let that tip of that darker color add some a little, a little bit darker color there. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my, I have a watercolor rag that I use when I watercolor, I'm gonna clean that off. And I'm also going to purge my color directly in there by pressing that water through my painter. Oops, I opened it too far. And I really want to purge that tip and get it nice and clean. All right. I'm going to put that away for right now. Get that out of the way. You can see why the silicone mat comes in handy, right? We're going to go ahead and dry that 
it's not that wet because I didn't soak it, but I do want it dry before I glue anything down. So I'm gonna use my um, heat tool. And I like to heat it from both sides. It is thick paper. And even though, see, it didn't penetrate, there is wetness in the fibers of the paper and it helps to dry it if you put it, <clears throat> if you put the um, heat gun on both sides. So I'm gonna give it another little bit of heating over here and finish drying that up. that's what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and glue it flat. So it doesn't matter if it's raised. I can use my bone folder to help the fibers and the paper. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add my wet adhesive, my um, multi-purpose, and I'm being very generous, especially over the area that has the water coloring because I really want that to bond, okay? No one will ever know that it was raised or bubbled or whatever you get when you watercolor. All right, every time you do it, you get a little bit of a different piece, but if you glue it flat, no one will be the wiser. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that down. And I wanna make sure that I use my roller, especially over that area to get it to grab to the cardstock underneath with that wet adhesive that I put on there. All right, so this is what we have so far. Not very impressive. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lay this piece here and we're gonna start gluing all of these leafy pieces. And every time I do this card, it's different. So it's not gonna be identical, but it's gonna be close, okay? So what we wanna do is this is gonna go here and it's gonna be right about there. So I wanna make sure I have it in the place that it's going to live. I'm gonna take these leaves and I'm gonna start adding my adhesive over the top of the stem, okay? So there's that one and I'm gonna tuck it where I want it to live on my card. So I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna tuck it there, okay? That's where that one's gonna live. We're gonna put another one under there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And those are my foundation pieces, okay? So just a little bit of wet adhesive to stick it to the circle. This one's gonna come out from the bottom. So it's gonna look like it's longer, but it's actually not, okay? So there's my two foundation pieces. And just make sure that they're not actually sticking to the card. You don't want it to stick to the card. If it did like that one did, just go ahead and use your um, adhesive remover to try and get off gently what's on there. But you will get some adhesive residue from pressing it down, okay? So right here, we're just, we're starting to form our piece. So I definitely wanna bring it back up to the top where it's gonna live so that I have all my spots taken care of. So I'm gonna start growing this piece down and across. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive on this stem here. It doesn't have to be a lot. This glue is really strong. This one I'm gonna stick to this leaf right here, okay? So I'm gonna put it in here and have it attach to this leaf, okay? And just make sure it doesn't stick to my card. All right, on to the next one again. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on this stem here, and it's gonna to stick to this leaf right here. So I'm gonna slide it underneath. And you see that I'm starting to build my leafy pieces and where they're gonna live, okay? On to the next one. So add a little bit of adhesive. 
This one's gonna come from this side. Mm, right there maybe. And I need one longer, so this last one's gonna be my longer one. I'm gonna add a little bit there. All right, and then this one's gonna come out from one of these other leaf pieces and it's gonna be down like that in this corner. So that's what this one's gonna look like. Every one I do, like I said, is a little different. So you have this trailing leaf. So you have to decide, do you want this leaf to be on top or on the bottom? And you just have to play with that and get them to kind of fall in line. Once you're happy with where they are, you're gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna move my card out of the way and I'm gonna add my dimensionals to the back. So I'm gonna get my regular size dimensionals and my minis. So we'll start here. One, two, one in the middle, and maybe two more. All right, that's good for the big guys. Now comes the minis. Oh, the spoon folder doesn't want to get off my table. <laughs> there we go. All right, so some of these are big enough that you won't see them. And you want there to be a good balance. You want there to be enough lift. Okay, so you're going to attach these pieces. You're just going to start little by little adding minis to support all the leaf pieces that you have here, okay? And when I have them where they overlap, I try and get the mini dimensional to grab that overlap if I can. Let's see, do I need any more? Yeah, maybe right here. I keep checking to see where it needs support because these are thin, viney pieces. You don't want it to go unsupported. I'm gonna put one on this tip and then maybe one right there. You guys know that I put plenty of dimensionals because I like my pieces supported. So if you don't wanna put as many, feel free not to. Um, I definitely think it needs it. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I think that's great right there. I'm gonna give one more for good measure, <laughs> right here. All right, so now that I have all of those pieces there, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool and remove all the backs. I'll start with the big ones. Purge and move on to the smaller ones and just work your way through your piece. I see a spot where I need one. And as you're pulling off, you're gonna notice that you don't have support here or there just feel free to add the dimensionals you need along the way as you're removing or purging them off of your project, okay? And just make sure if you use your take your pick tool to remove the backs that you support the paper when you're pulling. You don't wanna tear your leaves after you've gone through all that work to put them together. Okay. It's a process or you, if those of you who remove with your, you know, with your fingers, you may not have this issue um, of having to hold like I do, but I like taking them off with the take your pick tool. It's much simpler to me. Okay. I think I got them all now. All right. So once you have your whole piece ready, it's one unit, you're going to bring it in and you're gonna just very gently, and you're gonna start with your anchor, which is, this is our anchor piece, this best wishes, okay? So we're gonna start with it, and we're gonna place it in the corner, and you just wanna make sure that you have it where your leaves are gonna be well received at the bottom, and then you can press your leaves in place, just like that. I think that turned out fantastic. Very happy with that. See, every time you do it, it's a little different, right? 
but I, w I didn't add this to my original card, but I think I'm going to now because I think it will add a wow factor to it. So let me grab them and I'm going to show you what I'm going to piece together here. I'm going to find it in my drawer. I get excited when I, <laughs> when I'm doing stuff like this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add some of these pink um, sequins because I think they'll be fantastic. See how they have like different tone to them? So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. Let me know in the comments below if you like the addition of the sequins. I think it's going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, I love it. Let's add it to the original card. Every time you stamp, you know, you could always think of things that can make stuff better, right? And you should roll with it. Do what makes you happy. All right, add another one down here. All right, I'm happy with that. Look at that, that's fantastic. I'll bring our stamp set back in. Whoops, I flung one of these little guys off of here. All right, got it. You have to be delicate with these sequins. They uh, have a mind of their own. All right. I'll make sure that I link these sequins in the description of the video for you since I added them at the last minute and they're not in the photo, but I really love how they look. All right, so we use today the Layering Leaves stamp set the two punches here we used um some ink colors those are our ink colors our early espresso fresh freesia and berry burst all right i hope you guys enjoyed this project and that you um, will leave me some comments let me know what your thoughts are and I will be using the Layering Leaves stamp set all week. Um, if you haven't joined my membership, Inky Hands Crew membership um, program, Monday and Wednesday's projects are going to be included video tutorials for those. You get eight video tutorials a week. So don't miss out on the fun. We're having a great time. There's also a Facebook group with challenges. So, uh... Let me know if you want to join. Um, it's on my website if you click on membership in the menu. InkyHandsWarmHearts.com membership. Thanks for being here, guys. I will see you next time. And if you miss um, yesterday's, or not yesterday's, I guess it was Thursday's card um, from last week, you can catch it right there. I will see you next time. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.